I'd like to dig a little deeper into an old familiar scripture. I think most of us probably have heard Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. I think we get a hold of that and we miss the all. Twice he says all. And so we find ourselves trusting the Lord in difficult situations, trusting the Lord in impossible situations, trusting the Lord when we really have no clue what to do. And we acknowledge him when we say, wow, I'm at my, I'm at my wit's end, I don't know what to do. But he said in all thy ways. You know, I was talking to a brother the other day about this. So many times we, we get into traffic jams. Let's take some little things. We get into a traffic jam and we think, wow, I, you know, I, I was late because I was in a traffic jam. Well, how many times do when you get in your car, do you bow your head before you start your engine, ask the Lord for protection, but then also say, Lord, show me which way I'm to go. Now, almost every place you're going, there's more than one way to go. And we think I go there all the time. I always go this way. But maybe this time's not the time to go that way. Do you know the Lord knows every inch? He knows every bit of the path. He knows the obstacles in the way. He knows the traffic jams. He knows the dangers. He knows the accidents. Wouldn't it be great to acknowledge him and he would send us a different way? So many times when I'm driving, the Lord says, no, go this way, this way. And I go, I think, why would I go this way? But God has a reason for it. He wants the best for us. How about when we're doing our job? I do my job every day. I've been doing this for years. I've been doing this business for 40 something years. But guess what? Today is a new day. And you know, I had a high school teacher who used to say that which ceases to be better, ceases to be good. So we get stagnant. You know, maybe there's a better way to do it. Maybe we should acknowledge God every single day and every single job. You know, in teaching over the years, I still, before I start any class, I've taught English for years, I've taught Bible for years, I always stop and pray, Lord, give me wisdom on how to teach this and give the students wisdom and understanding it. Anything I'm gonna do, whether I'm doing a, sometimes I do some plumbing, uh, you know, and, and little uh, repair jobs, I always stop and pray. I'm not bragging. It says that maybe I've done it a hundred times. Maybe I've cut the grass a hundred times. <laughs> Who can't cut grass, right? Well, maybe, there's something to watch out for. Maybe there's a better way. Maybe we should acknowledge God in all our ways. Every place we drive, every purchase we make to say, oh, before I make any purchase, but this is a small purchase. I'm going to acknowledge God in all my ways. And he said he'll direct my paths. God wants the best for you, brother and sister. Acknowledge him in all your ways. He might have a totally different path this time. And you'll find out trusting him for wisdom also draws you closer to him in that personal relationship that he desires so much. God bless you.